Yesterday, I had to have the big cry with my daughter. And she thanked the Lord that she was my little rock. She didn't even shed a tear. I bawled and bawled and bawled. And I knew I was gonna. I knew, I knew it was coming. I knew I was suppressing it. But I said to her, baby, I'm gonna need you. Like, come here, come lay down with me. I'm gonna need you. And I bawled and bawled and bawled. And uh, man, I sobbed. I mean, I was speaking and blubbering through it all. We're laying in this bed and I'm, and I'm, she's 13 years old. I'm saying, I remember laying in this bed with me, you, mommy, and, and you know, your brother. And even though it was a camper, like we lost, we lost two houses. We were homeless. Like we started over in a camper in a field, a free camper. Believe me, you don't get anything that nice if it's free. Um, it was rough. It was really, really rough. And I tried as hard as I could to get us out of that predicament, but it, it would not move. The predicament would not move. I moved. The predicament did not. And I understand now that it's God's will because he has plans and I surrendered to him. When I said, take me, I meant take me all. Take my whole life and take it away from me. Make it what you want it to be. Your thoughts are higher than my thoughts. Take it. Like, you control me and I will just struggle, you know, in place and let you move things so there was that thing i wanted moved that he did not want moved but i laid in that bed looking at that same ceiling where i had my best days of my life and my worst days of my life the same ceiling the same bed and i just it just i relived a lot of life i relived a lot of joy a lot of trauma holding on to my little girl and thank the lord i didn't want that little girl you know how stupid i am I thought that that child would be a hindrance. She is my helper. She is my, you know, my kids are my identity. Like they gave me a reason. They gave me a cause. They gave me a purpose. What is a man without a purpose? Nothing. He's a wreck. He's like a, a styrofoam coffee cup just drifting in a pond. There's no purpose. <sighs> Thank the Lord that you knew better than I did and that you gave me that miracle. That crazy woman that was designed to illuminate just how rotten I am. And that you gave me that woman who delivered that perfect baby that was there for me in my moment of need. So thank you, Lord Jesus. I sat there and blubbered. Partly feeling sorry for myself, but it didn't take too long. The more I thought about, the more I praised God, and the more I thought about Him and His life, the more I took the focus off my life and thought about His life, my crying toward turned toward like look what you took for me like i earned your stripes you know i earned your crucifixion and you didn't let me have it you blocked me from getting my own desserts you know from getting the wages of my own life how could i how could i ever thank christ enough for blocking me from getting what i deserved and taking what he never deserved he did not earn my transgressions wages but i did he took them and he blocked them from me so the other half the second half of my blubbering and crying was thank you lord for what you did for me and how blessed and wonderful he is and how shameful i've been and just such a profound sense of thanks of thanksgiving and gratitude he is the prince of peace the king of kings the lord of lords the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end do you know him? Look up S.M. Lockridge. Do you know him? That's my king. That's, a, that's the best sermon I ever heard. When I'm down and out, that's what I need to hear. That's my king. Do you know him? I wish all of you could know him like I know him.